So now that we've created this app, we need to think about what we want to do with this app, right? So like, what is this app actually gonna be doing for us? So let's actually run the server. I'm gonna go ahead and do python manage.py run server. And we're gonna go to this URL here. Just open it up. We already, uh, you might already have it open. If you don't, that's okay. Let me close out the other one. Um, so this is our homepage, right? So this is essentially where we're gonna go or basically where any user would go when they first get to their site. Where admin is the admin area, right? We've talked about that quite a bit. That's a completely different page. So what's happening here is there's something called a view that is actually handling what we see on each page. So on our homepage, we see this as a default that's set up within Django. And we see that it says you haven't configured any URLs. So that's something we will discuss. But this page and this page have to do with views. And views are automatically built into our apps. So if we see in here, we see views.py. That is a file that's gonna handle what we see when we go to a particular page. So let's go ahead and try something out here and change how we see something on this homepage by going in our views and just doing def. So we're doing what's called a function based view here. We're creating a function, it's a regular Python function and I'm just gonna call it home. So like our homepage, it's gonna take in the parameter of request and then it's gonna return something. And in our case, it's gonna return render request and it's gonna take a template name. I'll just call it home .html. Don't worry if this doesn't make any sense at this point, but we'll get there. And then I'll put in an empty dictionary. So just these two curly brackets being empty. Um, and we'll discuss all of this stuff here shortly. But now I have this function. This is a very basic view function, very basic. But what a view is, when you go to a page, let's say we go to the home page or we go to admin, what's happening here is you're clicking on it. As soon as you click enter to go here, or if you hit refresh, what you're doing is, is called a request. You're requesting something from your browser to the server. Now in our case, it's requesting to the development server. So what we see here is all of those requests. So these are all the requests that are coming through. So if I refresh it, I'm gonna change the size of the screen so you can see the, requ the request happening in real time. So if I refresh over here, I see that a bunch of stuff happened here. This is right here, this is that main request. So if I change that to let's say um, ABC, it now goes, it says get, it tries to get a different page. So what's happening here is what's called a request. And the server sends back a response. So that's the cycle. You request something, it responds. It's very simple. So in the case of a view function, we get a request, so kind of something like this, and then we can return something back to it. So that's what views do. They take in a request and they return something back. That's all it is. And it's very simple and straightforward. But how does a view get the request? How, is the, how does the view know about the request is what I'm saying. And going back into this home page, let's click on that. We see this Django powered page, right? Um, but if we look at the very bottom, it says you're seeing this message because debug equals true, which we don't have to worry about right now in our settings file. Again, don't have to worry about it. And you haven't configured any URLs. All right, so URLs are what's gonna be controlling where our request is going basically, right? So if we think about this, if I go into admin, that means that this for this URL, it's controlled and sent somewhere. And our Django project is controlling how that's sent. Hopefully by now you're asking, how is it controlling it? So if we go back into our project itself and take a look, we see this file here called urls.py. We already kind of took a look at this, but this is where it's controlling it, right? So this file itself is showing us how all this stuff is working. And the reason that admin actually works is because we have it set up to go to the admin project, right? So you don't have to worry about what's going on exactly here, but we do have our URL right here set up, ready to roll. So we see a few examples up here as well. Let's go ahead and try out these examples. Uh, the first one, I'm gonna just uncomment it out and hit save. And then I'm gonna go back into our homepage and I'll explain why in just a second. 
go back to the home page, and now I see cannot import view does not exist, and then it says cannot import Django uh, try Django 18 views dot home parent module Django 18 views does not exist. All right, so that's an error, obviously, and our home page is now a lot different. Well, why did that happen? If we look back at our code, we see this right here. This is called a regular expression. Can get very complicated, but let's think about it in simple terms. This doesn't have anything other than this dollar sign. In a regular expression, all that means is there's, or the, the caret and the dollar, all that means is where it starts and where it ends. That's it. That's all you have to worry about. The caret is where it starts, the dollar is where it ends. Um, now for us, we don't have anything in there, right? So admin has a caret and then a dollar and it doesn't actually end, or at least we don't know if it ends. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, so let's actually just get rid of this dollar and just leave the caret. And if I refresh in here, and now if I try and go back to admin, says the exact same thing, right? Um, so what's going on here is the URL right here is looking for something that matches inside of here. Now this is get, uh, we're getting a little, a little ahead of ourselves, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull back a little bit. But basically, we have to map each URL to where it needs to go. So that home page right here is going somewhere. So if we refresh in, in the home page, so we gotta save this and refresh in here. Uh, see, right now um, we're having a little bit of an error going on because we're at the admin and we fixed our URLs. So what we might need to do is actually restart our server, which is something you might need to do sometimes. So let's go ahead and restart the server and refresh into our admin, still giving us that error. Um, so let's go ahead and comment out URL. Refresh, now our admin showing up again and bring that comment back, refresh, it's still showing, it's just still throwing this error, uh, which is good. That's something we actually wanna see. So what we're experiencing right now is the fact that somewhere in here, we don't have the view set up correctly. And what we see is we can't import this view at all. Um, so what's going on is it's looking in try Django 18, it's looking for a, uh, a parent module views and it's not finding it. So it's looking inside of this folder right here, try Django 18, and it's looking for a file called views in here, but there isn't one. Newsletter has a file called views. So let's go ahead and do newsletter. So this is now pointing to our, our newly created app and it's looking for the file views and it's looking for the function home. So if we go back in here, refresh, we don't have an error here. So if we go back to our home page, we now see a file saying template does not exist. Good, that's what we wanna see. We wanna see that error. That's a good error to have because it means something different. Uh, but what if we changed it from newsletter views.home to home two? Let's refresh in here. And now it's saying could not import newsletter views home two. View does not exist in module newsletter views. So notice that the module or the app itself newsletter dot views exist, but home two does not. So if we change this to home two, then we could refresh in here and now we can see that error. Okay, so let's recap what's going on here. I'm gonna just change everything back to exactly this. So when you go to any particular URL, there's gonna be a pattern that matches that URL. If there's not a pattern that matches it, it will raise a 404 error. So Django automatically says 404. 404 stands for page not found. Right, a standard 404 page. You, you've seen these for sure all the time. If you typed in a URL incorrectly, it will give you this 404 error. Um, and what it's looking for in any page, it looks for the pattern that matches whatever that URL is. Once it finds a match, it then goes to whatever that setting is. And in our case, we put that setting to the app newsletter inside of the Python file views and then we put it into the function of home. Now, if you had other things in here, you could actually do that even further, right? So if we had python.migrations, you wouldn't do this, but you could in theory do this. This would take you to uh, look for a file called views.home as well. So if we look back and we went to that home page, it's gonna say the same thing. Parent module, newsletter, migration, views does not exist, right? So, but the other one does. And now it's saying template does not exist, which is something we'll talk about in the next one. Um, but for now, we 
focus on that concept of request and response, then URLs, and then going and actually seeing any particular view. I hope this actually was a little complicated. It gets a lot easier once we actually work with it a lot more. Um, so keep that in mind at this point, because uh, right now it's definitely gonna be complicated because of how many moving parts are going on. But the main thing to think about is whenever you go to URL, something has to tell that URL what to come, what has to come back. That's something in our case is urls.py. Within urls.py, it says, hey, go to this particular view function to return whatever is supposed to come back. So we're gonna leave it at here. In the next one, we're gonna clean up this view by allowing our template to actually work. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.